Vini is here. Yay for Vini! The sacral chakra is responsible for all things passion in our life. That also includes our sense of self, our self-expression, our life choices, whether we approach a situation from an overindulging mindset or a restrictive mindset, for instance. It influences our drive in life, our sexuality, our desires, our sensations, and even the power dynamics in our relationships. From a more medical perspective, the sacral chakra is associated with our nervous system, our cardiovascular system, our urinary system, our reproductive system, and all the including organs. It also includes body parts like our hips, our pelvis, our joints, our bladder, and it also includes our brain in terms of, for instance, ADD, ADHD, or hypersensitivity. The four main hormones that are linked to our sacral chakra are estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, and cortisol. So having any type of ailment, issue, condition, or dysfunction with any of these anatomic systems, these organs, or with these hormones, can be linked to a misaligned sacral chakra. Keep in mind that a chakra can only be either contracted and closed-ish, or open. Anything relating under or over activity is always linked to our mind, not to the chakra itself. To sum it up, the main task of the sacral chakra is to allow us to go from survival into pleasure. Now let's look at how a closed off contracted sacral chakra looks like in a human being. And as per usual, I'll give you examples for both extremes, the over and the under active mindset. A contracted sacral chakra can manifest as being submissive towards other people and being dependent on their opinion, their guidance, their lead and their advice. On the flip side, it can manifest as being super dominant and controlling over others at all costs. Both ways translate into manipulative and micromanaging behavior either by being abusive towards self, self-sacrificing, people-pleasing, and self-punishment, or as being abusive towards others. And that means any type of abuse, mental, sexual, emotional, and physical. People with this issue in their sacral chakra usually have a fear of intimacy. They have a tendency to be incredibly judgmental towards others. However, they tend to be very fragile and insecure themselves. They have a tendency to be sensitive, non-resilient, and easily get overwhelmed by any type of perceived pressure. They harbor strong feelings of guilt and shame and tend to be either incredibly avoidant or very confrontational. They usually have very strong fear, yet incredible craving for physical touch and generally have issues with this place of physical affection. People with these issues always look for outside sources to either escape their reality and situation or to enforce control over it. This can look like an excessive alcohol consumption or staying completely away from alcohol for the sake of not losing control. These people are very prone to a specific kind of addiction. So in standard addiction, people know that they have one substance, one thing, one behavior that they fall into over and over again and they struggle getting rid of this. But it's very obvious and when they do have the awareness, they can pinpoint it down. It is one specific thing. People with a dysfunctional sacral chakra, however, have a more flexible type of addiction. They need something from the outside, but that something can be changeable. So they can easily and usually without big withdrawal symptoms stay away from one specific substance, but they have to immediately replace it with another one. This is why it's so hard for these people to acknowledge, realize, and recognize the fact that they do have an addiction. And they are often in denial over that. And this addiction really includes all kinds of overindulging behaviors. Whether this is overeating, substance abuse, promiscuity, or compulsive masturbation, they all belong in the same category. The general traits of these kinds of people is high levels of anxiety, frustration, a lack of direction, a lack of focus, or an incapability to focus, constant overthinking, having issues in making decisions, a lack of inspiration, no lust for life, 
and an indifference towards things that actually are meaningful to them. This impulse to constantly daydream, escape reality, or flat out ignoring everything that's going on makes it very hard for these people to actually fulfill their own needs, let alone express them. And that can easily lead to depression. From a more medical perspective, these individuals can experience performance issues, erectile dysfunction for both men and women, a dormant libido, an inability to climax, and just for ladies, cramps irregular periods and issues conceiving. To really understand what causes the sacral chakra to contract or shut down completely, we need to take a look into our upbringing, our social and family dynamics. The core wounds dominantly corresponding to a contracted sacral chakra are the wound of humiliation and the wound of rejection, and to a certain degree, the wound of abandonment, when the threat of abandonment was used to force submission. Any type of strict, restrictive, or forceful upbringing, whether this is in the context of culture, tradition, religion, or even social status can and most likely will lead to a contracted sacral chakra. Parental tyranny, abuse as a means for punishment, and any kind of sexual abuse will have the same effect. In order to heal and by that open our sacral chakra, we really need to take a look into our childhood and our upbringing. That's the starting point for anything healing and chakra work related topic. Aside from core wound healing and inner child healing, we also need to look at shame and guilt. We need to understand where our sense of shame and guilt is coming from, why we are holding on to it, and then learn to detach and release it. And for that, you can use my guided sacral chakra meditation, which will blob up right here, and I will put it on the end of this video as soon as I've released it. Another very important step is to recognize any type of restrictive, controlling, or overindulging behavioral patterns and to break it. And for that, I invite you to watch my video on breaking patterns. I'm gonna drop it in the comment section for you. In a more day-to-day -day manner, you can support the opening and stabilization of your sacral chakra by creating. Any type of creative process will do. Whether it's creating music, painting, building something, or writing something, any type of activity where you are in a creative process will immensely help you if you notice any issues or restrictions in your sexuality, now we have Burrito here. Hi, Burrito. If you experience... Burrito. <laughs> if you experience any limitations, restrictions, or issues in your sexual life, I advise you to explore your sexuality in a safe manner. And lastly, allow yourself to indulge. Indulge, not overindulge, in all kinds of sensational pleasures. Hearing, seeing, smelling, tasting, touching. And that's it for the sacral chakra and the second video in this little series of chakras and how they influence us. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.